Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. Thank you to everybody who got me to my 2,000 subscriber goal. I'm so grateful. Uh, I'm doing another giveaway again. So if you want a chance at free reading, I'm giving out two more at 5,000 subscribers. So be subscribed and comment and you're in the running. Um, today we've got the lovebirds the angel eyes, the veggies, and the arrows. Take a moment, choose your pile. And today we are asking, what does your crush find attractive about you? All right, let's go with pile number one. What does your crush find attractive about you? <laughs> All right, pile number one, you have the lovebirds. Of course, this is mutuality. Yeah, I've got the seven of wands. Oh, which one is it? Is it this one? This one, okay. What does your crush find attractive about you? Oh, definitely communication. Five of swords. Let's get you see what's going on with that five of swords. But I've got the seven of wands. I think that they think that you're very strong. Like they think that you're very strong and they really enjoy communicating with you. I, I When I get strong, I feel like you're somebody who really defends what they believe in. With the five of swords. Why is the five of swords here? The ace of swords. Okay, so what I'm getting is that your crush really finds attractive that you cut through like like honestly cut through any you're very good at detecting when people aren't being honest like you are very clear on that you're also very hard working so like you're like you're strong you you are a very good communicator you are very good at seeing through you know, shady people in shady situations. And you're somebody who just puts a lot of effort towards, you know, improving. Yeah. What does your... Tr <laughs> Gosh, I just keep dropping things. I, I feel like I should shuffle it again. Everything everywhere. What does your crush find attractive about you? Yeah, they're very physically attracted to you. Like they feel like you have this connection that they, that they don't fully understand. Yeah, and they want to, they feel like you're somebody who makes things happen for yourself. Like they definitely want you in their life. They, they, they do. Yeah. They're definitely like want to attract you in because you have a bond, especially through your communication that is very rare. Yeah. Very rare. Yeah. This person feels like you guys have some kind of soul bond that you were meant to meet. And I've got the nine of wands. I'm just getting resilient. Yeah, what I'm getting is resilient. Like, no matter you're like, you, you may fall down, you don't stay down. You know, you may have a hard time, but you're never giving up. Like, there, there is a, a, a strong resolution about you. Yeah, there's a strong resolution in who you are. Also with the Ace of Swords, that's also about integrity. So I feel like this person sees your integrity. Like this person sees that you all, this person also respects that you're not gonna put up with any weird shady behavior. Yeah. This person is somebody who is, is on the intellectual side, but they're also somebody who 
boundaries are very important to them. So I think that they actually really appreciate that you do maintain your own. With the Ace of Cups. Yeah, there's just an overflowing amount of love. With the Lovers, the Ace of Cups. This person doesn't just find you attractive. This person loves you. Yeah. With the Six of Swords. Especially if there's been any weird things in the past. Like, they want to move on. Like, if there's been anything where you guys didn't handle things well. Or they didn't handle things well. Yeah, they, they want to move forward with clarity. They want to give you clarity. They, they want to move on to calmer waters. I feel like they very much, maybe they were a little dis, yeah, maybe in the past they've been a little disconnected from their feelings, but really not anymore. Like, I think that they got a big dose of clarity and then ultimately I think that they're going to come around with a big dose of clarity to you. Like, uh... Some of you, some of you shut this person down. Yeah, I think that some of you, like, saw through something that they were doing that was, you know, inexplicable, you, you know, like, why would you do that? And, and you just shut this person down. Um, but that, but I think that they actually appreciate that. It's almost like they... They appreciate the clarity. Yeah. Should I take these ones? I'm not getting these ones. So I've got the three of swords. Did you have heartbreak with this person? Did they have heartbreak regarding you? I feel like... Is there upcoming? If you follow up in this relationship, is there a potential for heartbreak? Okay, what I'm getting is that this person may in the past have, you know, been acting stupid. Like, you know, maybe offering you less than your worth, partially because they were really disconnected to their heart due to a past heart, a past um, heartache. Which, you know, is an explanation, not an excuse, you know, you're nobody's emotional punching bag. Uh, I feel like you clearly shut that down because you had the Ace of Swords that came out. Yeah, you clearly shut that down. And this person is coming to realize that you are somebody that they have a lot of mutual love with. The somebody that feels like home to them. Somebody that they have a lot of, like, they definitely, um, have appreciation for you and the, uh, but, like, while they do like your intellect uh, and they do like your communication, especially your communication, um, they also value your attractive. They find you very attractive. So, I think this person appreciates your standards. Yeah. This person appreciates your standards. This person, like, sees you as very smart. And wants to, you know, with the pentacle, wants to put in the first step to make things work between the two of you. Let's see, any more? What does your crush find attractive? Just one more thing. Be still. I feel like that you have a way of being really confident within yourself that you know for you the for you the truth is the truth like i get that the truth is very important to you again with the ace of swords you know the truth is the truth you're going to live within integrity you're going to work it's like you are very with be still, I feel like you are very entrenched in, in your values. You're very entrenched in who you are. So you don't mind standing within who you are. So this person really, really wants to bring you back into their life because, well, maybe back into your life. Are you guys separated? I feel like some of you are, but it's not necessarily for all of you. I feel like 
that you have established standards of like what you know this person just can't get away from and i think that they actually appreciate that they appreciate that you're really clear on what you will and won't put up with you you it's like you don't need to and this person does have feelings for you so i'm i'm getting that you aren't really trying to chase this person yeah, you're not trying to chase this person. You're being still within your own integrity. Yeah, you're being still within your own integrity. And that is very attractive to this person. It's a, a, a sense of confidence that they're not used to seeing in other people. So that was you, my lovebirds. <laughs> Thank you for everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. It all really matters. I'm very appreciative. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two more as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. So just be, ah, so just be subscribed and comment and you're in the running. So the next group is the angel eyes. Hello, my beautiful angel eyes. This is not holding on there. So, <laughs> so with the angel eyes, you are... What does your crush find attractive about you? The moon. Well, they find you mysterious. Moon is also beautiful, but like the seven of cups. So I, I feel like this person might daydream about you yeah daydream about you queen of swords they also might feel like yeah they may feel like they can't get too close to you like there's uh that you it's not that it, it it's that you do have it clear things that you will and will not put up with the queen of pentacles it's like you still have the warmth just flipping my cards around you still have this really strong warmth within you but you're you definitely have a little bit of a hard edge and I understand I've got a little bit of one myself it's uh you know it's part of living in the world <laughs> but you're very clear on while you're a very nurturing person you're also very clear on what's you know is a no you're you're clear on what you're not going to accept as well as, you know, you're still somebody who's, you know, bringing in success. With the angel and the eyes, I feel like this person is really... This is not going to stay up. But I feel like this person... It's, it's like they like the idea of kind of watching over you. I'm not sure how active they are. But, like, they... They definitely see you... And like they, they definitely want to see what's going on with you because like they find you very mysterious. They have fantasies about you. I almost feel like this person, does this person know you very well? I feel like this is a person who doesn't really know you very well. That kind of, you know, has been able to observe some of your behavior. Um, they are somebody who has, yeah, that does like fantasize about being closer but there's a lot of mystery to you like they don't I feel like they don't really know you yet so with the five of wands is this somebody who's argumentative is this somebody who's competitive I feel like this person you know isn't always in agreement with themselves like this person is a little bit indecisive I mean, I think on some level, this person likes the fantasy of you and almost, you know, is, is scared to verify it in reality. Yeah, I feel like you make this person anxious because they do feel a really strong connection with you. But they don't know you very well. I think for most of you, they don't know you very well. Yeah. 
with the three of swords I i'm getting like i don't think that this person is a past heartbreak i uh i mean at least for most of you this is new energy this is somebody who i mean they're afraid of being heartbroken yeah i think that they see you as somebody who could potentially break their heart so that's one of the reasons why they are conflicted about coming forward um I think that they're really trying to gather information on you because they are, there's just a lot of unknowns regarding you. With the Knight of Cups though, I think that they are gonna come forward with an offer. They also feel that you're a caring person. They feel like you're a caring person. I feel like they they may realize that you've, you, I think they have been definitely, like they've been watching you, they've been fantasizing about you. I think that they have realized that you, that you've also gone through heartbreak, that you've also dealt with anxiety. Yeah. So I think this person wants to communicate how much they care about you, but they're, they're very much in their own anxiety at the moment. But they want to show you that they care. They also feel that you're caring. Yeah, they, they feel, I feel like that there's a little bit of mirroring that happens in this pile. That sometimes they're feeling very similar things to what you're feeling. So I, I think that, you know, they see you like, Kind of going forward on a new adventure they see you like showing people that you care with the seven of what the seven of wands do they see you as being defensive against them i mean i think that they definitely see you as being strong yeah they definitely see you as being strong especially with that and the queen of swords yeah that you, they see you as somebody who's like, I'm getting like had to defend yourself, like had to like stand up for yourself. Like they see you as somebody who making decisions to move forward. Like I think they are attracted look, with all this wand energy. Like they, they see a lot of, well, they have passion for you, but they, they also realize that you you work with a lot of passion. They, they want to show you that they care too. I think they want to show you that they're reliable because also the, uh, the queen of pentacles was up here too. I think that they want to be able to show you that they care and they want to be able to show you that they're the person for you. Yeah. But the seven of swords, I think that you know, they're, they're, they're a little scared and because they're scared, they're, they're not really taking action currently. They're, they're kind of paying attention to other things, you know, three of cups, you know, maybe being a little bit silly. What does this person find attractive about you? But with the three of cups, like they also think that you'd get along yeah that it's not just like lust or attraction they, they also feel like that you'd get along that you might also have a friendship in relationship but right now they're mainly working from fantasies they don't have a lot of information and they're really trying to get more information i think that they're also maybe getting some information from spirit and, uh, and they're trying to reconcile that, which, and they're, they're reconciling that is kind of leaving them anxious and, you know, a little bit discombobulated for lack of a better word. Yeah. This person finds you very attractive. This person, you know, I think this person recognizes that you speak from the heart. I think that they feel that that's a very, like that's a quality that they very much value. Yeah, they feel that you're very authentic. 
Um, and they also, like, again, you keep very strong standards for, for, you know, what you will and will not put up with. So you're just somebody who's, you're, you, this person, like, appreciates your persistence. This person appreciates your strength with, with the Nana charm. So... Like, some of you might have, you know, like, have had a grandmother that's very significant in your life. Some of you, like, you might have a spirit guide who's a female ancestor. Yeah, some of you. So it's a little bit of a mix. Um, but you're, you're being lovingly watched over. Yeah, I feel like this person really wants to celebrate with you. Between that and the Three of Cups... Like this person, is this person, I feel like if this per, I mean, there's a chance that in the past this person may have, yeah, just wanted to have more of a good time, but this person uh, has definitely seen that you have clear standards um, and they, they're, they're kind of intrigued by your, your strength. Like, because uh, they see you as somebody who's, you know, really taking control of your life. You're looking at the key things. That you're somebody who's strong and loyal. Um, that you're somebody who's going to take their time to do what they need to do. So, so this person, like, I mean, initially might have come forward with foolishness. Or maybe they didn't come forward at all. But now they're... But now you definitely you're 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 taking up space in their head. <laughs> you're taking up space in their head. They want to be the person. It's like they definitely realize that they can't mess with you and you know that they need to make a decision to move forward with you that ultimately you will be, you know, the uh, that you are the ideal person to to have a relationship with especially since i feel like they're working on being the more uh, ideal person because i think maybe like they there's a lot of things they don't know about you yet but you intrigue them you definitely intrigue them so they are just going to you know have their decisions but i feel like like ultimately who you are as a person yeah who you are as a person is what fascinates them the most like i feel like they may have you know first initially been attracted yeah i feel like initially they were very physically attracted maybe they weren't really paying that much attention but since then, they, they've come to figure out that you really walk your truth. That you, yeah, with the Queen of Swords, with the, the Ace of Swords, you're just all about truth. You're no games. You're not dealing with any problems. None of that is something that you are going to do. Yeah, you, you have really strong standards. And this person... I think that's made this person want to get to know you better. I feel like they don't know you that well yet. Yeah, they don't know you that well yet, but they are absolutely fascinated. Yeah, they're absolutely fascinated. All right, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Uh, if you do want a free reading, I'm going to give away two more. As soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers, I... Uh, my last video has the giveaway winners, so if you're curious about that for the 2,000 subscribers, go back. <laughs> and we're going to move on to pile number three. And if you want to be um, part of the 5,000 uh, subscribers one, just make sure that you are subscribed and leave a comment. All right, let's move on to pile number three. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful pile number three is my healthy little veggies. What does your crush find attractive about you? What does your crush find attractive about you? The magician. I 
I mean, they definitely feel very attracted to you with the magician. The Knight of Wands. Look at all this yellow color. So the magician, the uh, the Knight of Wands. We'll, we'll get a little bit of clarity on the Knight of Wands before we move any forward. But there is definitely a lot of physical attraction like i'm already feeling warmer like physically warmer so there's definitely a lot of fire energy this person definitely wants to have an intimate and fun time with you ten of swords okay you may have to watch out for this person yeah you may have to watch out for this person because this person very much wants to sleep with you but I'm not sure if there, are, uh, and this person feels a lot of attraction to you. Like almost, almost like it's hard for them to stay away from you kind of attraction. But I'm not necessarily seeing them translating into anything more than physical. So if you only want to have, I mean, I'll take more cards, but. So I've got the 10 of cups, but I've also got the 10 of swords. Yeah, I think that this person might initially come forward in a way that, you know, might sabotage everything. Like, they might come forward and, you know, just try to be physical with you. I think that maybe later on they're going to realize that there was something very significant that between the two of you. Um, but I, I think that if you... If, even though I know I can feel the heat between you, I can feel it. Uh, I would not um, sleep with this person initially because I think that, you know, even if there is a, a gift from God being offered, this person's, you know, not necessarily in a place to even see it or understand it. You are the healthy choice, um, but this person, this person is dealing with something. This person is dealing with something that is making them act in a very irresponsible way towards other people. And the question is, like, I, th I feel like if you do take this, you know, slow and you don't, you know, don't. There's like a risk here. Yeah, there's a risk here because like there's going to be a definite chance that you could get hurt. Yeah, there's going to be a definite chance that you can get hurt. There's going to be a definite chance that this person, you know, will regret, regret it later. Um, But you're like, don't, don't, yeah, make sure that this person is acting in an appropriate way towards you if they're not offering um any kind of commitment if they're not taking you know your offers you know leave them out in the cold because ultimately you may still have something with this person you may have a brand new beginning in love but you don't want to deal with them when they're being destructive and I feel like that this person is going through something that is causing them to be a little bit destructive. Um, and I feel like, like they don't, <laughs> excuse me. I feel like they don't really want to deal with emotions right now. Yeah, they don't want to deal with emotions right now. So, and they have a lot of passion and, you know, and it's very hard to stay away from you. So... I feel like some of them are going to, even though they're not in a place, 707's on the clock, so some of you uh, might be working on a spiritual journey. Yeah. But yeah, this person finds you attractive, but it's their heart, they're not ready to, to uh, be in emotions. If they come forward and it's just lust, you should absolutely leave them out in the cold. Yeah. You, uh, in the long term, there is potential. 10 out of 10, you know, 10 of cups and 10 of cups. Like, I know this, you probably are in love with this person. Uh, I think that this person is in severe denial about loving you too. 
Um, but it's just, if they don't come forward the right way, don't, don't let them take advantage of you because I feel they're in a space where they would. And even though, you know, you, you have the potential for a new beginning and happiness, do you, I, I, I'm just getting that you can have a choice to have something really negative with this person before eventually it turns around or you can you can maintain your boundaries with this person because you do you're gonna feel you feel a lot of emotions for this person you feel a lot of attraction for this person this person is not really being able to accept the emotions right now but is very very in the attraction right now yeah very in the attraction right now wait i i so spirits saying like if if you want to stay in the most healthy place with this person with if you want something that's going to grow really well with this person i'm getting that you know wait until they give you something solid because i feel like this person might initially you know i feel like this a person is going to initially offer you something that's not healthy for you you know i i don't know if it's just going to be friends with benefits or you know like they call you whenever oh yeah it's like like initially and it's because they're in a bad they're in a bad emotional place they are in a bad emotional place. It's not that they're an horrible, you know, person, but really do you just like, don't let them take advantage of you because right now they're very confused. They, they're not in a place to really accept their emotions. I think uh, if you wait, you know, if you keep your standards, there's still going to be an offer. It's just, there's going to be a real offer because there is this, yeah, there is this love between the two of you. There is a strong love between the two of you, but this person, I don't know why this person's doing this, but yeah, you have to decide because with the five of pentacles twice, it's like if you accept nothing, they're going to offer you nothing. Yeah. If you accept nothing, they're going to offer you nothing. If you accept, if you're only accepting stuff that is really emotionally fulfilling you're gonna get this out it's just but like this is the five of pentacles that came out twice like if you if 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 you let them offer you too little they're 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 going to keep offering you too little if you if if you wait until they offer you something that's worth your time it's going to build into something that's going to make you happy. Yeah, but this, I don't know why this person is acting this way. And it's partially because you guys have a very strong bond. Yeah. Some of you, this could be a twin. Yeah. And this sometimes happens. Just know that, um, don't accept, you know, if this person's in confusion, don't accept like their scraps. This person is definitely willing to accept the attraction that they feel for you, but they're in strong denial. They are strong denial about the feelings and they aren't gonna, you know, I feel like if, as long as they don't have to face the feelings, then they really won't actually have to build anything with you. But yeah, there, there's mutual love. It's just this person, there's something a little bit dysfunctional going on. Um, don't, when this, if this person is unsure, let them go. Let them go. They're, they are going to come back. But do you want to live through confusion and and lack with them it's not it's not that oh it's it's not an emotional uh, it, it it's not a physical lack it's not that they don't have money it's not i mean that is completely separate what it is is like this person on some even though that there is this bond with you like i feel like there is this spiritual bond 
Yeah, there is this spiritual bond, but right now they're offering nothing. I mean, uh, and they're going to try to sleep with you and they're offering nothing. And you have to really realize that, you know, ultimately you, you can get happiness out of this. You can get, you know, thing, but, uh, let this person do their healing. You can't heal them. They have to do their healing. Um, until they do their healing. Yeah. I'm getting that until they do their healing then they have the potential to do you harm. That eventually, like, once they get into a place where they find their internal balance, you will be able to have a relationship with this person. But do not sell yourself short. Do not sell yourself short. I know you feel a lot of attraction. I know it's an overwhelming amount of attraction. I can feel it. But <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Wait until they give you something that's worth wait until they offer you something that's worth taking yeah yeah wait until they offer you something that's worth taking because i feel like they might initially offer you something that's not worth your time so it may and if you take that it's gonna slow all of this down just don't accept less than what you're worth with um Okay, I'm getting, like, I'm hearing waiting for your standards to be met is going to be a much faster route than, than going through a cycle. Yeah, than going through a cycle in which your needs aren't met and then having to do a little repair from there. Yeah. So speak from your heart. Don't be, uh, definitely don't be afraid to tell this person what they want or uh, what you want. That does not mean that they're going to give you what they want, uh, what you want. But I think it's important that they know because eventually they're going to start, you know, come out of denial because they're very much in denial. Yeah, this person like, all right, you both need to nourish this connection. You both need to nourish this connection. And I feel like, are you the only one? You don't want to be in a situation where you're the only one nourishing this connection. Once they, uh, you know, you can definitely, you know, give in this connection. The thing is, it's like you should be getting as well. Just make sure that you're actually getting reciprocation. Yeah, because this person... This person does know that you're special, that you're individual, that you're one of a kind. What they don't, but it's, it's like, it's almost like they want to make things happen. Okay. I feel like that they may also like be coming from wanting to make this a physical relationship. Maybe so you won't move on to somebody else, but they're not going to be initially offering you something that's worth your time like they they kind of are at a stage right now where they don't want to lose out on you as an opportunity altogether but they're really not yeah they're really not at a place to currently offer that they're like not taking any offers so it's so and you know nobody gets to you know hold you in limbo so I think that there will be healing. The thing is, there will, is going to be hope. There is potentially a new beginning, but like, yeah, I, I think just, it's, I'm getting that also 717, when I look at the clock, again, sevens are significance. One are seven about spiritual growth. One is about manifestation zero because it was seven uh zero seven before zero is about creation that's that empty space in which creation could occur so take responsibility for yourself you can't take responsibility for this person's actions i think that you do have a really 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 strong connection but right now uh, if you let, yeah, if you, if you take something that's less than what you're worth, things are actually going to break down between you. 
I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm saying that it's unlikely that you're going to be able to fully cut this person off from your energy because this is a super strong connection. Um, but that being said, you're, you're going to have the issue where you, you can't really cut this person off. I mean, you can cut them off in the physical world, but I feel like a lot of you are st still going to be dealing with this person spiritually, like speaking. You're going to feel their energy. So that being said, make sure that you're okay. <laughs> this person, you know, will eventually get the point that if they want you in their life, that they need to offer you something that's worth their time. But yeah, don't, don't accept less than the now. Don't accept less than the now. It's very important. <laughs> All right. That being said, we're going to move on to arrows, but if I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, I really appreciate you. Uh, if you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two more free readings at 5,000 subscribers. So just make sure you are commenting and subscribing and you are in the running. Um, also, um, well, thank you to everybody who's uh, booking readings with me as well. And if you want to know who won the 2,000th subscriber giveaway, it's on my last video. <laughs> oh. All right. Thank you so much. And we are going to move on to pile number four, which is arrows. Hello, my beautiful arrow friends. The, the four fell down. What is your, uh, what is your crush find attractive about you? Well, they find, they think that you're really generous, that you're a kind person. Yeah, definitely a kind person. What is your crush find attractive about you? Stuff going everywhere. All right, with the Nine of Swords, I'm going to get a little bit of clarity on that because you do have some mixed energy here. So I've got the Hierophant. Do they think that you're very traditional? Do they see? I feel like they see you as somebody who is kind, who is relationship material. Um, but with the Nine of Swords, I'm going to get a little bit more clarity on that. <laughs> Can I get some clarity on the nine of swords, please? The eight of, the eight of wands. Huh, how interesting. So I'm gonna go into that in a little bit more with the, it, but it's like with the eight of wands, that's about forward moving energy, fast forward moving energy with the two hmm so i mean i th feel like you may be younger than this person yeah you may be younger than this person this person sees that you're kind of you know moving towards a you know moving towards a goal and they also feel like you're making progress like you know you start off you know, you've started off small and they've like, I feel like that they've already seen progress of you just making things happen in your life. So they, they see you as somebody who's really practical. Um, but with the nine of swords, that was with the eight of wands. Eight of wands is communication. So I feel like they're very anxious about communicating with you. I also have the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Like, have you, is this somebody who's coming back? Like, is this somebody that you've already had some kind of relationship with? I'm, I figure like with the Five of Pentacles, like it's like Five of Pentacles that you were dealing with lack. You were dealing with lack. I feel like the, with the Six of Pentacles, you progressed past that. Like, 
I'm even getting that even if you, I think this person realized that even if you might be having a hard time, you're, you're still somebody who's, who, it's like you give whatever you can. I'm getting a lot of selfless energy from this pile. So I think they see you as very selfless. The two, but with the two of swords, like I feel like they don't necessarily know how to feel about that. Like the fact that, like I feel like they, they really appreciate your selflessness. Um, they also see that you just make progress, that you are somebody who makes progress, moves forward. So, I mean, with the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords, I feel like that they feel like sometimes you've had a lack of resources, um, maybe because you trust the wrong people. So that's, you know, they both like appreciate it about you and they're scared for you, I think. What does your crush find attractive about you? Seven of Swords, like, does this person think that you're going away? Like, does this person, is this person trying to take advantage of you? Because I'm not really getting, like, is this? All right, um, I'm getting that you are somebody who is willing to um, exit a bad situation. Like you're, even if you have to do it, yeah, that even, even if you have to do it, uh, you, you know, you'll do it whatever way you can just to get out. Um, I think this, did this person witness you going, I feel like this wit a person witnessed you going through something very difficult. Um, I think that they do see you as very resilient. Uh, they see you as somebody who's really rebuilding your life again. Um, and that they think that you're somebody who you know, is deserving of something that, an offer of stability. But I feel like they feel that you are, yeah. That even though you've had to deal with like these dishonest people and you've occasionally just had to do what you had to do to, I mean, I feel like it's really had to do what you had to do to protect yourself. So I'm not getting like nefarious. I don't think that they see you as nefarious. I'm getting that occasionally you've had to really defend yourself and maybe sneak away, like just because you were maybe overmatched. Yeah. Um, some of you might have left. Yeah, like some of you might have left something abusive. Um, they might have seen you, uh, you know, move on with the King of Pentacles. So you have the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. So this, and the Ace of Pentacles. It's almost, you know, okay, this person's very impressed with you. This person likes, uh, has seen you deal with really harsh situations and you, you know, you, you make something new with it, you start carrying it forward, you start moving it forward more, you start like, it's, it's like you go from poverty all the way to abundance. you you know, you're, you're, there's no, while at the same time staying really generous. Like, I think this person's also impressed that, you know, you do have that generosity of spirit, even when you've been taken advantage of. Yeah, so this person, like they have a lot of respect for you. Like they, they see you getting what you get through hard work. They see you as somebody who's building something stable. They see you as somebody like, they see you as somebody that it would be like you would be the kind of person that they would want to commit to like they're very impressed yeah impressed two of swords twice do they see you as indecisive do they see you as a blocking your heart are they indecisive regarding you because i've got the two of swords twice so that's significant 
you also got the five of swords, you know, the, you know, pretty much all the fives. So, but, like, it's like you have, you know, had some hard times, but, like, you're, you're moving forward. You, you just make very clear plans and you execute them. I know it's not so romantic so far, but like this person really respects that about you. But like the two of swords, two of swords is about me being mentally conflicted. Are you mentally conflicted? Are they mentally conflicted? Are other people mentally conflicted regarding you? Huh, okay. I feel like there might be people around you that, you know, I don't know if this person who is really dishonest maybe sowed some confusion regarding you, but I feel like this person's really not, yeah, like this person has kind of seen that you've been steady the whole time and that this other person has been really dishonest. So if you need, if you want to know if they believe what this other person has said, I'm getting that they just think that this other person has betrayed you. I don't think that they're holding it against you. Yeah, they're not. So like, yeah, they probably heard whatever that's been said about you. Um, but they see you as somebody who's honest and full of integrity. So like, if you're thinking that this person, uh, you know, this person, you know, does see you as, a, you know, they see you as somebody who's worthy, somebody who's honest somebody that you can have stability with I was wondering when the cup was going to come out with the two of cups yeah they see you as somebody that they have feelings for so i mean this person it seems like uh at least this person feels like you've gone through a lot of difficulty yeah feels like this person feels like you have dealt with somebody who is <laughs> inherently a sneaky person and that that you may have had to deal with did this person believe in the uh, I mean it's very clear now like if it wasn't clear in the past who you are is very clear now this person has very strong feelings with you were they the, I don't feel like they were the person that was doing this rocky behavior, but I do think that they've witnessed you like literally go from de uh, having nothing to like just building yourself up. Yeah, this person sees you in a very in a very elevated light. They see you as somebody who is really authentic. So what? Because I feel like there might have been some lies told about you um, that this person does not believe them. Does this person believe them? Has this person believed them in the past? I feel like this person just fundamentally doesn't believe them. With it's a boy. I mean, some of you could be men. I Obviously, we have a mixed audience. <laughs> um, some of you... Some of you might have to deal with their, yeah. Like, um, like there's might have been some childhood issues. I don't know. Maybe you told this person about your childhood. Okay. Maybe you told this person uh, about um, things that had happened to you in the past. This person doesn't see. This person doesn't see what has happened to, to you as a reflection on you. They just see you as very impressive for just making the just making the moves that you did. I've got um, madre, mare, mother. So with the mother charm, well, I mean, some of you, this was a childhood trauma, so it could have had to do with your mother. But yeah, this person, like whatever happened, whatever happened that wasn't fair, wasn't right, this person does not, it like, sees you as even stronger 
you know, they they don't see you as as less for it. I feel like for some reason you guys need to hear that. I know that sometimes it can be very hard to find people you can talk to about traumatic issues because a lot of people just don't know how to handle it. So, yeah, th this person sees you as somebody who is who has you know, gone through really bad things and and, you know, they see you as ultra resilient. Like, they have a lot of love for you, but they, I, I'd say, and they want to commit to you, but I'd say that even stronger than their love is, like, just, like, there's an overwhelming respect. Which is, is a wonderful thing to have because that's something that's going to give you potential for longevity. Yeah. Um, this person... Like, they really feel like that it's time to come forward. So this person may come forward relatively soon. Like, this... I mean, I'm, I'm not... I wasn't necessarily getting that energy for everybody, but for this person, like, they... They want to spend their time with you. There is the little... Uh, the little egg staying inside the shell. Is... Does this person... Uh, do... Are they in denial? I feel like in some ways that they feel like that you don't want to acknowledge the truth. Like, I feel like maybe they, they feel like they see, you know, they see you, but maybe you're not willing to, there, there's some things that you're not willing to acknowledge. Maybe they feel like that you're unwilling to acknowledge their feelings. I feel like for some of them that they feel like uh, that, you know, they, they very clearly want to have a new beginning and they really clearly love you, but they, they feel like that, that you might be like holding the wool over your own eyes. This may not be true. This is just how, yeah, but this person finds you very physically attractive. This person wants to take steps to make things to make things steady with you. Again, this person like finds you with the peacock very attractive, very beautiful. They feel like you definitely stand out in a crowd. They like your fashion um, with the little black diamond. Like I, I think that they definitely see that you're rare. Yeah. The, that somebody like you is a rare thing to find. There's the little dolphin charm. So I think that they really appreciate your intellect as well. With good fortune, they really feel like your connection is good fortune. They feel lucky to have, yeah, they feel lucky to have met you with the... Yeah, they, they just feel that you're very beautiful. Like, they, they have a lot of attraction for you. They feel like being with you would be you uh, something that would be abundant and happy for both of you. Like, like being around you is, it, like, there's be there would be a key to abundance uh, being with you. Like, and, and abundance can be happiness. Abundance can be money. I, I mean, I feel like it's not that, I don't feel like this person just wants you for money. Um, but I feel like that I'm getting that together you would be more than the sum of your parts. Like you would work together so well that you'd be able to take yourselves to a different level is what I'm getting. So with believe, like this person has a lot of belief in you. Like they, yeah, they, they have a lot of belief in you. They have a lot of belief in you. They... They, uh, they, they want a new clear beginning. They want, you know, they want something that will last. Yeah. Again, they want the solid new beginning. I think that they want to move. Yeah. They want to move kind of slow with you, but they want that because they want it to last. Yeah. They want it to last with you. Um, yeah. They really appreciate your wisdom. 
Uh, if you do have a child, especially maybe a boy because it was a, It's a Boy Charm came out. Yeah, I feel like that's not for most of you, but some of you may have a son. Um, yeah, but like they feel that you are a good parent as well. Like they, they are very, very impressed with you. Like they, I feel like you may see, okay. I'm getting that you may see what has happened to you as, as somehow having and I think that what has happened to you has made you a little bit conflicted, not about this person, but about yourself. Because I think that there is a little bit of, you know, it's hard. It's hard not to take on if you've been told something negative over and over again. So you do have some internal conflict with the two of swords twice. And you have had people tearing you down. You have had people say things. But ultimately, this person just wants you to let go. Um, let go of what you think is holding you back because this person doesn't, this, this is not, this person just wants to move forward with you. This person doesn't see anything that happened to you as making you less. They just see that, you know, they're really able to see the truth. They want to like, take action like this is the fastest moving pile this person definitely wants to take action towards you this person if if you have uh, you know dealt with real poverty this this doesn't matter to this person this person if you've dealt with you know a lot of people being cold and mean and heartful if you've dealt with betrayal none of this is something that this person thinks reflects on you this person thinks that this reflects on other people. This person kind of wants you to let go of holding back. Because I feel like this person, this person wants things to happen with you. This person does see you as somebody who is amazing. And they, they want to move forward with you, but they do recognize that, that you are still maybe dealing with some issues that make it a little hard for you to move forward, but they want to move forward. They, they have this, they have this feeling that, you know, things will progress with you. Yeah. So I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate you. Yeah, uh, and this person just thinks you're amazing. Like, it, like, in fact, anything that that you might actually think, because I think that they think that you're undervaluing yourself. Yeah, they think that you're undervaluing yourself, and what had to, what happened to you has nothing to do with who you are. They see you as just having overcome so much, and being incredibly impressed with it. So thank you. I really appreciate you. Uh, if you want to like, share, subscribe, comment, I appreciate all those things. If you want to book a reading with me, I really appreciate that. <laughs> and if for any reason you want uh, a free reading, I'm giving away two more as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. Um, if you want to see who won the last... Um, excuse me, who won the last 2,000 subscriber, just go to the last reading. Um, I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate you. And if for, yeah, I'm just uh, really grateful.